It's important that all medical students, um, well, the community at large, including medical students, and I think uh, the community expects that medical students will have basic life support uh, training, which is another name for CPR. Uh, it includes things like how to handle choking victims, how to handle CPR for patients of all ages, and how to use an automated external defibrillator, AED. By doing a program like this, KCOM Life Support Initiative, we're hoping that medical students are at least, if not uh, more, capable of handling emergencies in everyday situations. As physicians, uh, we as medical students at least have the perception uh, that a lot of the community does, that medical students and future physicians will have the ability to take care of people in their time of ultimate need, no matter what setting they're in. So far, 140 second-year medical students have been trained in basic life support, including the use of an AED. Uh, this was all done in cooperation with several organizations on campus. The Student Government Association uh, donated some money. Uh, local physician Dr. Rickleman donated some money. Uh, uh, the support of the school, Dr. Laird, and the, sim and the simulation center with Dave Patterson and Elaine uh, Louder have been, have been uh, instrumental in allowing us to, to offer these courses. We've also done some additional trainings uh, for employees of the Gutensohn Health, Health Clinic and are hoping to add uh, more soon. The long-term goals of the program are not only to train medical students as they enter medical school, uh, kind, of, kind of a way to introduce them to, uh, to managing patients in a lay setting. Uh, additionally, though, we do hope to offer this to faculty, staff, uh, the community at large. I feel the commitment to this kind of program is, is important, uh, not only as a, as a medical student and future, future doctor, um, in that role as a, as a public servant. Um, I, I also work as a paramedic uh, and, I've, and I've seen the impact that these, uh, these kind of programs and training the community at large can have on, uh, on survival of patients in their, in their time of greatest need. Uh, AEDs have, have been proven successful when they're uh, readily available and when the folks around them know how to use them.